Missouri. Hmm. What is Missouri known for, really? The the, the football team. What, what like what is? I, I mean, I, you know, they've only been in the SEC since what, 2012? Is that right? So you know, maybe I'm not an expert. On Mizzou, the zoo. <laughs> but what is Missouri known for? Michael Sam and a hunger strike. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shout out to Missouri for uh, for being the, uh, the 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 closest thing the SEC has to a West Coast school. <laughs> uh, what y'all protesting up there this week? Jesus. Y'all's football team was going to quit? Social justice warriors at Mizzou, ain't it? How did that end up working out? Well, you got a couple of dorm buildings sitting empty up there. I ain't talking about a couple of dorm rooms either. I mean, complete buildings, empty. Hey, this is this is a hundred percent real. I'm not even making this up. This is one hundred percent true. You can go to a Missouri football game, right? For the week, you know, to spend the weekend up there or whatever, watch a football game. You ain't got to worry about calling uh, the Motel Six, uh, you know, or the Dew Drop In, or or, or or whatever Roach Motels they have up there uh, in Columbia, Missouri. By the way, why are the two worst schools in the SEC both located in, in a town called Columbia? But, uh, I digress. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, you can go to the game up there in Missouri. You ain't got to worry about you finding no, uh, a hotel or nothing like that. You can rent out a dorm room. That's right. So, hey, Mr. 45-year-old, uh, <laughs> Missouri fan, pedophile creeper you can you can stay in a college dorm room and watch missouri uh get humiliated by georgia how about that how would that be how would that suit you <laughs> yeah it'll probably suit you just fine you can go watch a game at missouri and spend a weekend in a damn dorm room Well, Chris Hansen from, from Catch a Predator might as well just set up shop up there. Missouri. Michael Sam and hunger strikes. Well, you did beat Georgia one time, didn't you? What are you? Are you one in five against Georgia and joined SEC? Hold on, let's see. You joined in 2012, right? 12, 13, 14, 15, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, one in five. You beat us one time. Was it 2013 you beat us? Yeah, we beat you every other time. Never lost to you up there either. It's like our second home up there. I like y'all stadium too. You know, if Georgia wasn't a wasn't a university, like if Georgia was just a local high school, I would want their stadium to look just like Missouri's. Y'all have one of the nicest high school stadiums in America. Real talk. I'm not even trash talking. Uh, it's one of the nicest high school stadiums, but it's got to be one of the nicest high school stadiums in the Midwest. Now, yeah, you put it down here in, in, in the South where football matters, uh, you know, or, or even Texas or something like that, man, it, it would just be your average run of the mill, uh, you, you know, uh, high school stadium or whatever. But for the Midwest, you guys have got it made up there. I mean, a really, really nice high school stadium that you guys play in, uh, you know, so, so kudos for that. Uh, but let's talk about this year's team, though. Or let's talk about last year's and this year's team. Because I keep hearing this now. Mizzou has won nine straight regular season games. Now, why do they word it that way? Oh, yeah, they lost their bowl game. So, but it's a way well, even then, though. Mizzou has won nine of its last ten games. That's pretty good. Georgia hasn't won nine of its last ten. Georgia's won eight of their last ten. You know? So, I mean, hey, that's pretty good. You lost your bowl game to Texas. Other than that, you've won your like your last nine games, right? Take that bowl game away. Who was the who'd you lose to before that streak started, though? 
So you've won nine. Let's let's take the bowl game out and just say you've won nine straight regular season games. You won six straight regular season games to end the season last year, and you won three straight regular season games start the year this year. So who beat you before that streak started? Who? That's who. And Lou beat you that week too. Yeah. Uh, so who's going to end that streak though? Uh, Georgia is the beginning and the end for you. Georgia is the alpha and the omega. Just get on your knees, worship at the altar of Lou G.A. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. That is impressive. Nine out of ten wins. I couldn't believe it when I heard that. I had to look it up. And you know what? It's true. So, all, like I said, all trash talk side, congrats. You won nine out of ten. And listen to this. We're going to start We're gonna start at the very beginning of your win streak last year. I'm going to run through every team you've beat during this nine-game stretch. Are you ready? Idaho last year, you beat them. They were a four-win team. Then you played UConn. You beat them. They won three games last year. And you played Florida and beat them. So did everyone else. They were a four-win team. Then you played Tennessee last year after that. You beat them too, but so did everyone else. They were a four-win team. Then you beat Vandy, a five-win team. You finished that up with Arky, a four-win team. So those are the six wins. So those are the six wins from, from last year. Idaho, Yukon, Florida, Tennessee, Vandy, and Arky. The best team on that schedule was a five-win team. This year now, UT Martin, they're currently winless. Uh, Purdue, they're currently winless. And Wyoming at two and two. So during that nine game streak, you have beat zero teams with a winning record. Not a single one. And your best win was against Wyoming, a two and two team. <laughs> uh, but Drew Locke, Drew Locke is winless against UGA and he's going to graduate that way. He's going down. Listen, Drew Locke is a good quarterback, and you guys might score in the 20s like you did last year. How does that matter when UGA is busy scoring in the 40s and 50s, though, and two? It doesn't matter. y'all. I mean, your, your defense has uh, more holes than a cheese grater. I, I mean, we're going to do whatever we want against you. Will Drew Locke throw a touchdown or three? Maybe. Maybe. Will it matter? No. No. I mean, come on. You guys don't have what it takes to compete with Georgia. I, well, we're going to come up there, though. So, I, I mean, I make you the same deal. I make almost every time I make them the same deal. I mean, we'll come up there with times of the game. Noon, we'll, we'll come. We'll, we'll, we'll show up. I mean, we'll be there at 12 or whatever. You guys can run out of your high school tunnel you have up there on your high school table. What do you have, like a couple of guys that spray fire extinguishers or something to make it look like a smoke machine? You run through that. Come on out. Georgia will be there. We'll be waiting. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll play you. How much are we having to pay you for this game, by the way? Uh, we paid uh, the last team. I think we paid them one and a half million. Paid uh, Austin P like one and a half million. We paid Carolina, whatever we paid them. I don't know, what are we paying you? I, I don't know. But anyway, we'll be there. We'll give you your check. Uh, we'll do the coin toss. Uh, and, and we'll be tell out of you. But if that sounds like something you might be interested in, you can meet us there. We will be there. We'll be waiting. And Drew Locke and the rest of the Miz Who's can come get you some. Bitch!